Uh, now we're going to do lesson 26, our, our variables with the bee. Okay. So our challenge is collect all honey and make all the nectar. Okay. So on the left. All right. So let's, uh, okay. Let's do move forward. Like we have 18, blo 16 blocks. So let's see. Uh, okay. So we move forward and then we action, we get nectar. Okay, we're here and then we go move forward again. And then do we make honey? And then we'll be turning left. Okay, action, turn left. And then we are going to do move forward, get an actor, move forward, make a honey, we turn left. So seems like we're gonna do this um, same pattern three times. I'm just gonna do repeat three times this and then see what happens. Okay. All right, cool. All right. That's good. Awesome, since it worked. Okay, so let's go to the next one. All right, this is the similar one, I think. Oh, okay, so there's already code there. Finish this code so that the bee can collect all of the honey and nectar. Okay, so if they're using a counter, so setting counter to two, all right, and repeating three times since there are three paths, and the thing move forward. So let's concentrate on the first one so if we want to reach to the flower we need to go move forward move forward two times right so repeat move forward two times so that it is a counter okay so whatever the counter is so currently the counter is two so that's fine so we're going to move forward two times and then we'll get the nectar two times as well right so we go get the same counter and then we move forward once because flower and honey is like one step and then we make honey is the same as counter as well okay so instead of number we're just using the variable okay so if when we change this number we don't need to change other stuff okay cool let's press run Awesome, all right. Next one. Ah, oh, similar, but, okay. Change the starting value of the variable so that the B can collect all of the honey and nectar. So the starting val value is two, but we actually need to go one, two, three steps, right? So if we do repeat counter, it's gonna do two times, then it's not gonna work. So uh, we change the counter to three since we know we need to okay all right so three three turn left okay awesome all right next one so in this puzzle each patch is one space farther away okay all right so that's a bit of a challenge and has one more nectar to get one more honey to make add one to the variable each time you go through the loop so it's kind of gave us a hint but if you look at this so we in the first part we move forward one time we get the nectar one time we make honey two times so on the second path we need to move forward two times we get nectar two times so we make honey two times and then for the third path we need to go move one two three times get nectar three times and make honey three times so if we're going to use the same counter we need to change this counter after each repeat okay so we can do this by doing this we used it on previous lesson right so so for the first round so that means for the first repeat for this the counter will be one for the second repeat for this part the counter will be two that's what we want 
and for the third path like third repeat the counter is gonna be three so yeah all looks good let's run <laughs> Awesome to work like a charm. Okay. Next challenge. This puzzle follows the same pattern. Okay. We can see this like one, two, three, four, right? Uh, but it is extended to a fourth path. All right. Um, add one to the number of the times. Okay. So it gives us a hint as well. So this loop is running three times. It's gonna stop here. So we need to make another line. So we just can change this three to four and we don't need to change anything because for each path we are just uh, adding the counter so for the first one one for the second one two the third one two plus one three and the fourth one is going to be three plus one four so all should be fine Press, um, So go to the next one okay what's different this time okay in this uh, in the last couple puzzle we needed to change the variable by one for each new patch this time each patch is two space farther and has two more nectar to get okay and two more honey to make all right so it kind of gave us a hand previously it was one now it's going to be two so one and then three and then five so instead of changing one we can change by two and i think that will solve our problem okay because on the first loop this is going to be one for the second loop this is going to be one plus two that means three so three and the third loop this is going to be three plus two that means five okay <laughs> Finish the code to solve the puzzle, okay? So what should the value of the variable be at the first? So that's the first question. We need to figure out what should be the variable. So if you remember from the last challenges, we were setting whatever path we need to move forward and the amount of nectar or honey we need to make. So from that, we can just say variable counter to two, right? Okay and then we have three paths so we need to make this three times right so you go math we need to run the loop for three times to satisfy three paths and it's going to the same repeat move forward counter so the first time is going to move forward one two times and then get two nectar going to move forward and then get three make three honey turn left so on the next path is going to be three plus okay now we don't we don't know what the change is right okay so let's see like two and then four that means the change is going to be four minus two which is two right two so for the next path our counter is still two this is going to be changed by two that means two plus two four so it's going to move forward four uh, get four nectar make four honey and for third part now our variable is four right and four changed by two is six so it's going to go six get six nectar make six honey okay <laughs> Awesome. Next one. Okay, create your own code to solve this puzzle. All right, so now we need to create our own code. Cool. So we can follow the same pattern. So we can make a variable first. So we do count uh, set to one. Okay. Well, the first one seems like one because you need to move forward one, get one nectar. Okay. And then we have three paths, right? So we go 
take repeat three times and then we need to go so move forward so how many times we need to move forward we need to take a look so times this is going to be counter all right and i'm just gonna copy this one because i'll need this for the next one as well so we want him to move forward the counter time and then we need him to do another move to get this nectar All right so action get nectar and then the space between nectar and the honey is also increasing so we need to again move forward the same uh, same counter time so move forward and then we need to do same counter time get the honey so action make honey sorry and then when that's done we want him to turn right okay so action turn right and then before you go to the next loop we want to change the counter by two minus one which is one change counter by one okay cool okay let's run the code awesome cool okay what's the next one so do you recognize this staircase pattern okay i think we did it on some of the challenge i think the pharma yeah uh variables with pharma challenge i think we did something like this okay so let's try to code for this okay so we need to go move forward but before that let me set the counter so our counter start with one because we need to move forward one and then get one nectar make one honey so i'm just gonna do one and then we have okay so we need to find the pattern here so how many times we can run so i think i can see the patterns it's gonna be this and this one and then this one so we need to do this three times right so we'll take loop uh, repeat three times and then three times we need to move forward so we we'll need another repeat counter thing counter we do move forward action move forward and then we collect the we can get the nectar counter time and then we turn right okay turn right and then we move forward same action move forward and then we make make honey the same amount of time so see one for the second loop two and third loop three and then when we are here we turn left action turn left so we will be on the same move forward path okay and then we need to change the variable by one because it's in so two minus one is one three minus two is one okay so let's give it a go cool awesome well done so the next one i think that's the last one all right okay the puzzle is a little different what do you need to do to solve this okay so this one seems a bit different but how many times we need to do it? So we need to go here, two, three, four. Okay, four loops. Uh, let's let's make the variable first. So counter by 
one, two, I think we need mm, we need two here, but see the, the number is one, right? So there's a bit change here. So I'm just gonna leave this that like that. Set counter is one. I think one is fine because we need to get one uh, nectar and make one honey. So on the loop, just gonna create repeat. So I think it's four path. Just gonna do four. And uh, we need to go here. So as they can see, so the first one, we need to move forward one, two. The second path, we need to move forward one, two, three, four times. And the third path, one, two, three, four, five, six path, six, one, two, three, four, five. It seems like there is no actually pattern here. So we are going to use while path ahead. Okay, so this is like if you don't have pattern, you want to go end of the road. So that's what we're going to use because in every instance, we want to go to the end of the path, right? So now for this, we move forward. And then we want to get this, right? Uh, so we need to loop counter time so for the first counter is one so we want one for the second counter is three so we need to change by i think okay we'll think about it later so let's do uh, get nectar and the same for counter time we'll oh no so we need to turn right right okay so we turn right and then I think we do just move forward because for all example, they're next to each other. So I'm just gonna do move forward, get counter nectar, make honey. So we are here. And then now we need to increase the change. So the change will be three minus one is two. 5 minus 3 is 2 as well, 7 minus 5 is 2. So I think the change will be 2. The change counter by 2. Okay, so let's give it a try. Move forward now. See, so seeing the antenna thing, that means it's, it's looking for a new path and stopping. Awesome. This was fun and challenging. So yeah, try it by yourself. And this is the code. We'll go there. Don't worry about it. But yeah, to try it by yourself. Practice two or three times. It should be fine. And yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.